All right, what's going on, guys? First of all, let me apologize for the title. I'm well aware that it's pretty fucking cringy, but welcome to YouTube 2016, I guess. Anyways, I wanted to talk to you about something I thought was pretty cool about Infinite Warfare. It feels like every video I've made about Infinite Warfare has been pretty negative, so I figured I could at least say one good thing about the game. Real quick, let me just throw this in here. Raven, the people who are in charge of Modern Warfare remastered are literally doing a perfect job i don't mean a good job they're literally doing a perfect job they have met every single demand that the community has asked for and the game isn't even out yet you know what i mean so they're probably the best developer call of duty has ever had i think they deserve their own game we should let them have a shot at making their own game you know not remastering just their own brand new game and you know see what they come up with because at least if it's shit they'll fix it and listen to it so I think that counts for something but at the very least I hope they're in charge of all remastered CODs from now on because um, I mean I was just really impressed that they actually took the time to listen to the community so it is possible so that that kind of makes the other developers look worse because we all kind of complain about the same things to all the developers so that means the other developers do hear our complaints they do see the videos and everything they just don't really give a fuck so I don't know I just kind of want to throw that in here as well because I'm just pretty happy with what Raven is doing with COD 4. So anyways, as far as the actual news for Infinite Warfare, I'll link the full article in the description down below. But basically, a quick summary is that Infinite Warfare is going to be bringing back classic guns from previous Call of Duty titles. And the way you unlock these guns is by prestiging. So that sounds pretty amazing, right? Like, I, I mean, I was kind of surprised to hear that. I don't know who came up with that idea, but good shit, man, because I like that idea a lot, especially now nowadays where every single fucking weapon is bought in supply drops to actually give out some free weapons uh, yeah, that's pretty cool so if we take a closer look at the article itself it says at call of duty xp it was announced that call of duty infinite warfare would feature a class of classic weapons which are fan favorite weapons from previous call of duty titles for fans to use in call of duty infinite warfare multiplayer infinity ward at call of duty xp did not provide details as to how players would actually end up unlocking these weapons to use in game so as you just saw it says that they're gonna bring back classic fan favorite weapons from previous cods i think it's very important that we notice they say fan favorites and also that they said classic cods i think that gives us a pretty good guess of what guns they will actually bring back now if you look at this tweet right here this is like the guy who's in charge of all the infinite warfare multiplayer stuff this guy asked him, when are we going to get more info about the classic weapons? And he responded with, classic weapons are unlocked from classic weapon tokens earned by prestiging. Players get to choose the order of unlock. Alright, so I think the most important part of that entire tweet is to notice that he said, players get to choose the order of unlock. The way I interpret that is, this is how it's going to work. You're going to, you know, rank up, you prestige. Once you prestige, you get a classic weapon token, and then and they're gonna have a list of like 10 different classic weapons and you just pick whichever one you want. I like the fact that the players get to choose and it's not like some pre-selected order. If you remember in Advanced Warfare, once you got to like the Grand Master Prestiges, which I never fucking got to, that, that was too much, I couldn't play that game like that. But once you got up there, they started giving you uh, supply drop weapons, but it was already a pre-selected order, so you couldn't really get whatever ones you wanted until you reached that level, but they're changing it for Infinite Warfare, which is cool. So that way you can get your favorite guns first, so for example, mine would probably be the ACR that would be my number one choice but maybe yours is not maybe yours is like the intervention or something like that I don't fucking know maybe like the snipe so this way everyone would be happy because you can get whatever you want also another tweet that he put up where he said the specific classic weapons will be visible in the beta build so it's kind of vague the way he worded it it seems to me that he means like you'll be able to see them but you won't be able to actually use them which does make sense because since you're technically only supposed to use them after you prestige we're not gonna be prestiging in the beta I really don't think so but I'm curious to see what guns they actually end up going with and I'm also curious to see if they actually show us all of the guns they already confirmed that there are only 10 prestiges in infinite warfare at launch at least they might add in more later but I 
guess we'll have 10 classic guns to choose from, one for each prestige. Now, I was kind of thinking, like, what guns might they actually bring back? And I put together a little list. I think it would be something along the lines of this, like, ACR, M16, FAMAS, AK-47. Eugene about to be happy about that one. Um, SCAR, MP5, UMP, P90, Intervention, Barrett, MP7, stuff like that. Maybe I missed a couple popular ones. I don't know if they'll do, like, secondaries and, like, shotguns and stuff like that they might i don't know but i only picked guns from infinity ward games because that just seems like the logical way to think about it but hey maybe they could take other guns as well they might bring back some Treyarch guns you know i'd love to see the msmc or something i don't know i just i don't think they would do that and also, I didn't pick any Ghost weapons because I don't know if Ghost qualifies as a classic COD. I mean, it is pretty recent, and, you know, it's it's not, like, in the same category as COD 4 or MW2, like, that came out, you know, a really long time ago and is one of the most loved Call of Duty. So, I don't know if Ghost really qualifies, but maybe they bring some Ghost weapons as well. I don't know. But I try to pick guns that were in multiple CODs already, such as the AK and the P90, because those are guns that they've already shown to have a history of bringing back you know what I mean so it kind of makes sense that they would bring them back for a third or fourth time you know how many ever fucking times they brought it back but I think it's a fairly reasonable list uh, I'd bet that at least half of those are gonna be in the game but I guess we'll find out in the beta which is starting on Friday I think at least well at least if you have a PS4 it starts on Friday so we'll literally be finding out in a couple days and that's pretty much it for the video I just thought this was a cool idea and I figured I'd give them some props for once, you know, give them some credit for doing something right. I'm trying to be fair to them on the channel. They're still never going to fucking invite me to an event. Hey, if you're watching this video, all right, invite me to an event now, all right? I'm being nice to you. But anyways, that's pretty much it. I, I don't want to be one of the people that bashes on the game 24-7, but at the same time, I don't want to be one of the people that just sits here and dick rides the game 24-7. You know, we, we got to mix it up. So anyways, that's it for the video. Thank you guys all for watching. Be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed subscribe if you're not already follow me on twitter links in the description down below other than that have a good day and peace out